The last thing that I just want to mention about downloaded uh, videos is that um, when you've watched them to remove it because it will have obviously be taking up a bit of your storage even though it's been stored um, I think mainly on the app. Um, so we're in the downloaded section here I click a tap on the video and over here you can see it says delete download so that's good practice when you've watched something to make sure you've deleted it because obviously this isn't going to disappear for nine months from our list it told us it was available for nine months so it won't disappear just because you've watched it so it is good practice just come in afterwards and um, if you don't need it anymore just hit the delete key and then you're not eating into um, you know unnecessary storage then on your device um, so that's everything on the iPlayer, I think. Hopefully you'll have fun exploring it, using it, downloading things to watch out and about and watching programs that you've missed as well. The same principle applies to the um, ITV player and Channel 4. So you would do exactly the same. You would go on, you would register, not, not sign in unless you've got an account already. Do exactly the same. Tap on register create uh, fill in your details whatever it's asking for um it may ask you to verify your email again so go ahead and do that and the the overall layout will be fairly similar just look out for the um things that are on there look for any menu and look for the search option as well but once you can do one generally you can do um the other video players as well